Hello all, you must have heard about Gaur Gopal Das and must have seen his videos on life, spirituality, on leadership and purpose of life etc etc and he has written a very wonderful book called Life's Amazing Secrets and which basically revolves around all these things and he has drawn from the experiences which he had during his travels because he travels a lot as he as he delivers a lot of talks across the world and these are basically interviewed with a lot of stories of fascinating stories i would say and there are a few points which i thought uh, uh, i should share with everyone which i really liked so one of the points which he shares is that about listening now if we observe ourselves as a generation uh, we have become very impatient and the attention spans are very short and we are not good listeners so and we listen to reply basically so what he says is that listening to understand is more important than listening to reply when we are listening we should just the our aim should be to understand what the other person is saying before we rebuttal before we make any comment before we make any observations so we should listen to understand i think it's very important for work for your personal life for your interpersonal skills etc etc another very good point he talks about is uh, when we have negativity about some people sometimes we think of some people and only negative traits come so on this he says that when we think negatively of people we should immediately counteract that energy by contemplating three positive qualities that uh, that person has so i think it's a very wonderful thought and uh, once we practice it we will see how our mindset changes and how positive vibes uh, come and then how we can go ahead in life so this is very important that we have positivity towards everything and uh, one of the facets is that how we deal with other people and uh, i thought this is a very important um, thought which he has uh, depicted and shared and uh, elaborated very well in his book another very important point uh, which i learned from this book and as he suggests that we should all maintain a gratitude log da- daily and by that he means that we should be thankful for the wonderful things which are happening around we should be thankful for wonderful people who are around us to support us there are a lot of good things which happen around us to us but we choose to only see negativity uh, which is kind of has become the system now so to break that every day at least we should if if you're not writing at least we should uh, sit down meditate and recollect uh, all those uh, good things which are happening and pay our gratitude so a daily gratitude log is what he suggests now another very interesting thing with what he shares is that when we have a problem a situation now there are two ways out of it one can anything be done about that if yes then do it the second is that nothing can be done about that so basically in both cases you shouldn't worry because if there is something you can do go ahead and do it if you cannot do anything about that there's nothing that um, anyone can do about it so basically we should not worry so i think uh, this is a very important uh, suggestion what he makes uh, during the book and uh, lastly i want to share when he talks about corrective feedback now it's very important that um, feedback uh, is received by us and we are open to feedback and at the same time we are open to giving feedback but there are very important um, pointers which he mentions regarding feedback and before you give that feedback to anyone you should uh, go through these four facets the first one he says are you the right person to give the feedback are you you know in that particular domain are you competent are you having that authority to give that feedback so think about it can there be a better person who can give that feedback other than you so that's the first then is it the right motive do you have the right motive to give the feedback do you have the good for the person uh, whom you are giving the feedback or you have some ill intention so that's that's what you need to see a uh, right motive should be there and then the third one is that you know whether you are giving it in the right way there can be many approaches to give a feedback and then you know you should have the right way balancing everything and lastly he talks about you know uh, there is a time to everything the right time so is it the right time to give the feedback so this is all the four assets and facet which you should consider before giving feedback so there are many other things uh, like this in this book and i would totally recommend that you read that 
So that's all about the book. It's a wonderful read. Go ahead and pick it up. And it's a very small book. Uh, you can finish it in a couple of hours and uh, it will help you again revive those fundamentals which are very important to have a wonderful life. Thank you.